and welcome to Floss Tube number seven. I am Shiloh, better known online as Karish Valandar, and welcome. Um, I normally try to put out my Floss Tube updates once a week on Saturdays, but you may have noticed that the past couple of weeks I've not had um, my normal updates, and uh, we had some family illness go around, and I just had some other issues that popped up that made it difficult to make videos. Uh, but since it's been a few weeks, hey, you may get a lot of updates. Um, so first is stash. And I got quite a bit of stash to share, mostly in the form of patterns, pretty much all in the form of patterns. Uh, so first of all, I was lucky enough to uh, be able to get a $25 gift card to the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I was not aware that I was actually entered into a, gi uh, a giveaway by my friend um, Heather, also known here on FlossTube as Link is my homeboy. Her uh, account channel is down in the description below if you'd like to check her out. But they had a contest going on and she entered in and since she tagged me in it, I was able to win as well. So that was really awesome. So thank you so much for that. So with um, that gift card, I managed to pick up the remaining patterns that I needed for my seasonal sames project that I have going on. Um, and just to share with you what those are, I picked up autumn skies, berry picking, April showers, winter wonderland, and stretch those legs. Um, I also was able to receive their newest pattern, called True Love Bandit featuring this cute little raccoon, which I believe his name is Reese now. Uh, so go check that out. This is not sponsored or anything, just sharing the love. Also, I had purchased this pattern and it finally came in during those off weeks that I was doing. Um, but this is Map of Hawker and Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. And a Facebook group that I'm a part of uh, called Whatcha Stitching, they have Hawker and Hollow Thursdays. Pretty much every day of the week is dedicated to something. And I really like the primitive style of the Hawker and series. And I was really debating between this one or, oh, which one was it? I think it was The Village. I don't remember anymore. But these are all kind of the rest of their things that they have. So my sister-in-law is doing this. And you may know her as Keisha over on the Pattern Queens. She is, I believe, doing Christmas at Hot Ground Hollow. And Laura, also one of the Pattern Queens, is doing a year at Hot Ground Hollow. So if you have a Hot Ground Hollow piece, join in our stitch along. So since I finally got that in and I finally was able to get some fabric for this, I finally got a start. Not much of one, but it's a start. I got the little house and I got some pieces of the bakery and some cats and dogs done. Um, and this fabric is actually the fabric that I tea dyed. Um, if you would like to see my adventure in tea dyeing this, which is the first time I've ever tea dyed anything, uh, check out the link down in the description below. Or you can click, I think it's going to be right here. The little eye and that link will take you there as well. It was a really fun process. I'm really happy with how that fabric turned out and it's really looking good with stitchings on it. So super excited for that. Speaking of fabric dyeing, um, I did another new start on the fabric that I showed you in my last video that I dyed, the green. So I don't have too much done on this. It was mostly just enough for magical stitches. Uh, homework. So a little bit, every little bit helps, but this is a companion piece. Um, this, I think it's just called like Disney Mickey, but I personally call it the Disney villains because it's going to have all the villains. And that is a companion piece to my Disney, what I call the Disney characters, which is this right here. I've made quite a bit of progress on this. 
I'm happy with how it's turned out. Although I did put some floss away wrong or something, so you can see Amory. It's really hard to show, but you can kind of tell the top part of her is a different color because apparently I had some very light tan next to my white. So I'm going to have to rip out those. But fortunately, it's not that many stitches. So, but those are both by El Cross Stitch over on Etsy. And I'm really loving the characters. They're really fun. They're really cute. So, moving right along. This is a, this is the progress I've made on strength. I really, really like how this variegated cloth is looking. I, or not cloth, but thread is looking. So I'm pretty much changing most of the colors, I think, on this piece from what they were called for. Um, but that's okay. It makes it my own, and I really like how it pops on the black fabric, and it just looks really cool. Alright, so this next one has some issues going on here. Um, this, I, it's not going to look like I did a whole lot, but oh my gosh, there's so many stitches. This must be tiny count, but this is Super Mario Brothers 3 World 1 map. And what I did was this section between the two and the, the one. That's what I filled in, and it doesn't look like much, but it took me forever just because there's the stitches are so small. I don't know what count this is. I don't remember. I've had this in my whips box for years, like at least five years. I don't know how much longer before that. So, um, but that pattern came to me via the Sprite Stitch forums. I don't remember who originally created that one. Um, I should look that up so I can give them some credit, but all right. Uh, this one is part of my seasonal sayings. This is hugs and kisses and I'm almost done. I just have to do some detail work, some more stitches on the bottom. I need to finish the frame around the bottom and then go back and do some back stitching for the eyes and the mouth. I was hoping to get this done before February which is as of recording this tomorrow. <laughs> so it's probably not going to get done, but it'll get done pretty soon. And then I can move on to my next seasonal saying, which is for March, which is um, luck and clover, I believe it's called. So looking forward to that. And last, but definitely not least, I put a lot of work into my letters from Hogwarts. So let me see if I can get it. I keep turning these sideways for some reason. So I got the crest mostly done. I just have to do, let me see if I can. I just, there's a lot of fractal stitches in there and I need to get the yellow still, but I put in a lot of the stripes and I miscounted somewhere because this, eh, let me find it here. There, that's supposed to be four stitches. I put in three. I don't know where I miscounted, um, but it's, I found out way past the point of me bothering to go back and rip out a bunch of stitches. So I think I can get it to work. I think, you know, as long as I keep following the diagonal lines, it should be fine. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to make it work. <laughs> if I have to cram something in there, it's going to work. So, uh, but yeah, I'm really excited with how that's looking. The colors are great. Um, I'm really happy with everything. I'm a, you know, I'm not super happy with how all the fractional stitches are turning out, but you know, you live and you learn. I think I'm doing that on 18 count. So they're not super easy, but, um, they're not awful. It's just, it takes a bit more time than normal stitches do. So that's pretty much all that I have to share. I kind of went through those really quick. Um, but yeah. That's, and I may not have as much to show next week because I'm going to start um, working on some business stitching, uh, but I do hope to, let's see, which did I have a goal? Well, I definitely, for next week, I definitely want to get my hugs and kisses done. So I'll be able to show you the finish, at least the finished stitching. I really want to get it completely finished before next week so I can put it on out on display. Uh, and so I can show you guys how I'm intending to display these. 
but I don't know if I'll be able to get all of that done, but we'll see. I want to get the stitching done at least. <laughs> that is my goal. Um, what else should I work on this week? If I set goals in here, then maybe you guys will keep me honest. You know, I could probably finish my strength one because I don't have that much stitching left to do on it. So maybe we'll, maybe I'll aim for two finishes for next week. It sounds ambitious, but I don't have a lot left on them. And since I am going to be working so much on some of my business stitchings, I know I won't have a ton of free time to hop around between a lot of them. Um, I will be working on the Hawk Run Hollow on Thursday, and I will be doing um, the Super Mario map on Sunday if I have any time, because those are kind of the days that I'm personally participating in on the kind of the themed days. So hopefully, maybe I can get another tiny little section done on the Mario map. But those are my goals. And hopefully I'll have two finishes to show you next week. I did drop a video on the tea dyeing adventure. So if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description below. Um, that was a really fun video to do because most of these videos, I just sit here in front of the camera and talk. And um, whereas this last one, I got to get into the kitchen and got to do some more fun video editing and some other stuff like that. So it was really fun. I hope you check it out. Let me know what you think. If you liked this video, give me a big old thumbs up. It really helps out. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more content by me and make sure you ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. I Again, I try to upload every Saturday one of these updates and I will see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs>